Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer when you are attempting to use the disk partition utility and you're getting a message that says that there is no media in the specified device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this virtual disk surface error. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in device manager, best match, or come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the disk drivers section, double click on it, and then right click on any disk driver listed under here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select next. Once it's done, go ahead and select close. It will say that your hardware settings have changed. You must restart your computer for these changes to take effect. If you want to restart your computer now, make sure you've closed out of any open programs and applications and then you want to select yes. And now you want to open up the search menu, type in File Explorer, best match, or come back with File Explorer, go ahead and open that up. Select this PC on the left panel here, and then right click on your drive that you're having the issue with, and select versus properties. Select the tools tab, and then under error checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Go ahead and select the check button, and then select scan drive. Okay, so once that is done, go ahead and select Close. And I would suggest selecting OK. Close out of here. Open up the Search menu and type in CMD. Best match, or come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And now type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that's concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved and you should not be getting that no media in the specified device error any further. You may also want to try switching USB ports as well if you have your device plugged into one port. Try switching it to another port and see if you're still experiencing this issue. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.